Okay, I'm back. Hi guys. I'm back. Oh my god, I'm excited. Hope this time it will work. Hi guys, welcome to English with Alice. And today, as usual, I have you a special guest. Please welcome Tum Pakon. Okay, you are here. Let us try again. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um. Okay, I invitation. <laughs> It is not working, is it? Oh my god! Uh, please let me use my other phone. Um, can okay. you please wait a bit? A bit, yeah. Okay. Let's okay. Leave. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> What to do? We won't give up. How about you? How about you guys? Oh, I'm excited! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yes, hopefully it will work with another phone. Yes, yes. Ooh, <laughs> it's starting to get funny. No, we are serious though. <laughs> okay, he's back. Um Okay. <laughs> please, 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 please. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Oh my god. This is this tricky. Is so you know? excited. <laughs> Have you ever experienced this before? No, but there's some like obstacles for me and boom because of I'm his sorry, maybe, connection. Yeah. yeah, maybe it's because my phone isn't that um maybe not that um up to date. <laughs> <laughs> But here you are. Welcome, Tun Ka. Sorry, Ka. How are you today? <laughs> oh my God, my heart is racing right now. Like, <laughs> I'm so hard. Is this gonna work? Am I? Am I gonna be like your first mistake? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Having no. To um, today was fun. Like, I went to the gym. Mm -hmm. Like this day, I really want to like cope up with my like um down feeling in COVID-19, so I keep myself fit always. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I've been to my massage parlor. It's uh, the first day of opening. Mm -hmm. Oh, how was it? Um, it was a bit crowded, but I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I'm, I'm really glad that you are here to, you know, chit chat with me in English on English with Alice. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you for having me. So yeah. can I ask you first, like, um, what are you doing with those comments? Are you replying it? How do you act with it? Um, I, I decided um, after I, I try with a few um, like, video, uh, like live session, mm -hmm. yeah, I decided to turn the comments off in order mm -hmm. to, um, the concentration between me and my guests will, will, will be better. Okay, I understand. That's great. Yeah, yeah. But um, during um, maybe last few minutes that we can turn it on and see how it goes and maybe answering some. <laughs> okay, that will be a distraction, right? So yeah, we just you just talk first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because I I want to know a lot of things from you. <laughs> oh, all right. It's gonna be about me, right? I I actually want to ask a lot about you too because it's been a while we haven't met. <laughs> Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Um, so could you please introduce yourself a little bit? Okay. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, my name is Tool. Um, it's, the Tool is like from a zodiac sign of Libra in Thai. Mm -hmm. Because I was born in October. And my sister name is May. My 
brother's name is August, but that doesn't make any sense when you name Octo in Thai. So my name is Tun. <laughs> ah, I yeah. see. I'm, 20, I'm 27 years old and I'm an architect graduate, but I've been working in Chobis for like um, seven years, full time. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I love traveling a lot. I love traveling a lot. Okay. And where are you from? Um, <laughs> where am I from? I'm actually born and raised here in Bangkok, um, but my home is like out there, like at like Bangna, it's like um, suburbs of Bangkok, mm -hmm. uh -huh, like uh -huh. 20 minutes away. But now I live in town in my apartment. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. I see. My, How my about you? Where, have... where do you live now? From Athui, but my 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 family plan to move to Bangna, so we kind of like swap. Yeah, we can share a neighborhood. It will be yeah. so good. So cool. Yeah. And and where did you go to school? Okay, so like I have always been to um, Thai school in mm -hmm. Thai programs. Mm -hmm. So the first school I went to is um Anuban Suan Park. <laughs> It's like it's like in my like neighborhood backyard, uh, like somewhere. Uh -huh. It's like uh -huh. um kindergarten, and I um when it is elementary school, I went to Zhuang Gong University demonstration. It's Satichula, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um I studied there since grade one to grade nine. Uh -huh. But um the special thing is like um when I was ten years old in my grade mm -hmm. five, like my mom kind of like warned me and my sister me and my sister to get more like uh, familiar to using English. So she shipped me and my sister over to Australia every summer break for like four consecutive times. <laughs> I see, I yeah, see. And I, I was in all boy boarding school. I, I live in a boarding house. Yeah, oh. with all like Hua Tong, like Farang. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. But, but you have been... You have been studying English before you 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 moved to Australia, right? Um, just like basic English, not like proper mm -hmm. English. Just mm -hmm. like what I school teach, you know. Because mm -hmm. I always been to Thai program. Uh huh. So uh -huh. what a uh, struggle? It was uh -huh. so much like struggle at first. I carry in my book like my dictionary everywhere. Like, yeah. um, wait, 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 wait. Um, um, um. <laughs> Uh, hungry, hungry, you know, hungry. <laughs> uh huh. And and do you enjoy learning English when you were young? Uh, before, I did. I mean, um, like I don't have any like um bad um perspective towards English, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I always like discovering new things. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, to to be there in Australia, it's like a totally another side of the book. Mm. Totally. Like yeah. everyone speaks it and like fluently, so I have yeah. to be like survive and thrive, you know. So I have to like um, work so hard to um, get, yeah, get my mm -hmm. English better. So, so when you first moved there, like, how do you practice learning English? <laughs> um, I don't know. You know, when you're a kid, you just mm -hmm. play, you just play around mm -hmm. with yeah. everyone. And yeah. there is no judgment. There's no like, oh, you're from Asia country. You were, um, yeah, your English is not native, but yeah. the kids just play. So mm -hmm. we kind of like, um, get used to it, get using English, mm -hmm. get to using English a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's, that I think where I like, um, you know, learn it bit by bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this like yeah. totally changed my perspective in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how many years again? Um, so once every once every year for uh -huh. three or four months. So it's like a year a year long. First time was in Perth. You've been to Australia mm -hmm. before? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. so first time was in like the western part of Australia, but mm -hmm. the other two or three times was in Hobart. It's like like a little quirky city. It's like um it's a capital of an island called Tasmania. Uh, I see. Yeah. I see. There's so, like um, so much Thai people there. It's like a little, like a few Thai people. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. I have like more time to speak English. Yeah. But um, I think like many people that um, they've been abroad and come back to Thailand and then kind of like lose the sense of their fluent in English. 
So how do you keep practicing when you are back in Bangkok? Um, you know, I lose, I lose it too. Um, because um, when I come back, when I came back here in Thailand, and I like um, more focus on working to mm -hmm. get into high school because mm -hmm. um, my mom want me to get into t r i a m u d o n g s i k s a Ah, yeah. And you know, t r i a m u d o n g is like very famous for its competitiveness. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's like a nightmare. So I was like working more. I was like working more towards academic that mm -hmm, year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, you know, like when I finished grade nine and about mm -hmm. to like get into high school, which I have to like pass examination, I yeah. went to like two grade school since eight a.m. to seven p.m. like every every day. And that's like you know what Thai kids have to fa face when like. Yeah, I they know. are expected yeah. to get into high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You went yeah, to a convent, right? You went to like all girls school. Yes, yes. Is it's it boarding like, school? No, but I'm um, being a convent girl. It's like I'm um, living in a competitive, um, female society. <laughs> <laughs> like mean girls. It's not just academic, you know. <laughs> I see. It's yeah, there's that like society yes, aspect. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, 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 yes. I'm um, so I'm um, since you have to focus a lot, um, in terms of academic. Um, what was your favorite subject? What were your favorite subjects? What were my favorite subjects? Um, you know, everyone in my high school mm -hmm. wanted to get into a med school, like yes. they wanted to become a doctor. Yes. But for me, um, after I like. Get into like and start grade 10 I mm -hmm. told everyone I wanted to get into an architecture school. I like drawing so much. I want to de design my house and my building one day. And everyone was like, "What is architecture? I mean, <laughs> you're gonna draw and sell it. You're gonna like, you're not not gonna earn that much, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't know. I just wanna like, um, I just wanna like pursue my dream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and since when did you um how h o w the architectural things came to your life? Oh yeah, so when I was in the middle school, in mm -hmm. the same school, s a n i t u l a and I saw like two of my friends who who went to marching band with me. I, I was in a marching band, you know, like a marching band guy. <laughs> as <laughs> like, as like, a was, like... yeah, then they were drawing like something like architectural. Because they went to a t u t o r school of architecture, and it looks cool. It like this is what what I want to do. I I like I've been like drawing since I was ch a child, mm -hmm. but I never done this thing like systematic systematically. And like yeah. this is cool. So I really like find out. I really like want to pursue to, into drawing, but something mm -hmm. like um that works. So maybe drawing buildings. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. And um, after you graduated from high school, you did pursue your dream. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I went, I went into um, <laughs> j u l a m o It's like it's always j u l a you know. I always yeah. like stay there around h a n g r i Road. Yeah. <laughs> so I went to s a t h a p a j u l a of Faculty of Architecture, s h u a n g k o n University. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like, you decided it's to be in Thai program. Right? It's like, Yeah, it's in Thai program, a five-year mm -hmm. program. It's like mm -hmm. Nong Nien, you know, you know Nien, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so I'm like five years older than older than her. Mm -hmm. I see. Why? Why do you choose to? Why did you choose to study in Thai program? Um. Well, it, it may be like often offending to say, but back back then. I mm -hmm. not really like p a s s in international program at Chula, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. because um, the design is like so. Um, it is like like a dream. It's it mm. couldn't it couldn't build on a reality. Mm -hmm. Like it's so conceptual that way, yes. the yeah. way like international program teach type, you know. But yeah, so I I want it to be like more practical and more like concise. So yeah. I yeah I picked Thai program. But it mm -hmm. took five years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. um, when you got a chance to study architecture, mm -hmm. do you like it? Is it like what you dream of and expect? 
Um, architecture is something that you need to combine like art and science. Mm-hmm. Like there's no right or wrong in architecture. Things can get like more beautiful for somebody, but mm-hmm. for the others, it might not. Mm-hmm. So we have to like work so hard to like learn how people perceive everything, like line, plane, color, texture, like space, you know. Yeah. And it, yeah takes a lot you gotta be like really sleepless you know my hair like got falling off and my <gasps> look like so dry oh, i look like yeah. poor. but it, it's what it was fun mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it was fun mm-hmm. five years was studying for you five years was um <laughs> <laughs> five legit years was cool so i learned a lot i, I learned how to like progress thing and I like learn to um, do it. in the progression of development you have mm-hmm. to like mm-hmm. you have to like be practice for a lot of like um, uh, preparation like you know what your what's your goal and how many how much time you have mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then you will take steps up and you will like totally achieve it in time mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. that what architecture will teach mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and after you graduated um, you still feel that You want to be an architecture? Um, I didn't want to be an architect because um, I actually interested in real estate, like to uh-huh. develop and to sell more, and mm-hmm. that's what my um, family business do. Uh-huh. So um, in my fourth year, after I finished fourth year, um, it's a requirement that I have to get into an internship. So mm-hmm. I did um, land and houses company. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know. The, the big company, the big houses to sell. Yes. So I'm the one who work on a low rise condominium um, in Brahma, Brahma 2, I think it's called East. Yeah, oh, I was one uh, of the team. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, and I like kind of like see for the ways I could go back into like real estate entrepreneurship. But mm-hmm. yeah, it took me five years already in this job is. And you know how like. <laughs> Yeah. Not five, not five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and during your five years, um, is there any project that you that you are proud of? Um, actually, my my thesis project. Um, so in 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 Thai programs in architecture, you have to mm-hmm. um spend your last term, last semester doing your thesis, mm-hmm. which has like twelve um, no idea, how do you credits, right? Credits, yeah. Twelve credits. That's a lot. And I, mm-hmm. I choose to work on an international airport because I like traveling a lot. Yes. <laughs> so I would get more inspired if I was working for I, something for traveling. Mm-hmm. So I picked mm-hmm. Udon Thani International Airport because Udon Thani is where my dad, my my dad is from. Mm-hmm. Oh, great! I've noticed mm-hmm. from from Wiki. It said that you you got like a grant or or like an award for you search me on Wikipedia. Yes, of <laughs> course, I do some homework. <laughs> oh my god! Right, you get You're some a award pro. <laughs> I love it. I love I love how like um how 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 much research you have done. You have done. Um. Yeah. So my thesis was was picked to be um showcase in um. Central World, is it? Oh. Like for an annual show. Wow. <laughs> Not that wild. Like But it. thank you. I, I would like to see it. I mean, like, wow. I have like to scroll down there like for so long because it's been since um, two two thousand fifteen, twenty fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like four. Five I, I posted years. a picture of it, but it's like down there, like. Yeah. yeah. St- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, and I would like to ask, what, what do you, how do you see yourself, like, maybe five years from now, like ten years from now, you would do an oh, interesting. So, um, so, I, I think two years ago, I, I started, my, maybe three. I start venture into my business entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I up, opened my first. Aesthetic clinic with my sister in Bangna. Mm-hmm. So if you mm-hmm. want to move into Bangna, like you may <laughs> want to like <laughs> get yeah. some treatment. Yeah. Okay. Then um, last year I opened um two of the massage parlor. You've been mm-hmm. to it, right? 
natural yes. time as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And because the COVID situation, it has mm -hmm. to be closed down mm -hmm. for a period. So I came, I came, we came up with like the solution for um, coping with um, with the subsidizing for um, mm -hmm. employees. Yeah, so we we decided to open Konja Yam. <laughs> it's like a yam, like um, spicy Thai salad, like chop. Uh -huh, you haven't uh -huh. tried it, right? Because it's like um, just new, like two weeks yes. old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, but yeah, one it. day, one day, I, I would like to send you over my yummy yam. You would try it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um maybe yeah. in maybe in five years I would already um graduated my master degree. Mm -hmm. I'm interested into um um put, put myself further in mm -hmm. you know academic in some mm -hmm. way. And I mm -hmm. already worked towards it last year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'll I will keep I will keep it as a surprise. So I will okay. tell you. <laughs> okay, okay. How about you? Like you already did your master, right? Yes, yes. I finished my master since 2016 and I have been mm -hmm. like um a lecturer, a part-time lecturer cool. at the university. Yeah. Yeah. And so you you're teaching at um SWU at Sinatra in Viro. Yes, yes, yes. What what do you teach? What like um your practice? I actually I grad in dramatic arts. Just like performing oh, arts, oh. yes. But it's the knowledge that can be applied to many things. I mean, the mm -hmm. way that we study master is like, it's about analytic, analytical, critical, logical yeah. thinking, and mm -hmm. and stuff. So it's like applied to 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 many stuff after that. Um, but then um, the first subject that I've been in, invited to teach is media culture, at at Bali. Yes, at the Faculty of Arts, Jula Nongkorn University. First. Oh my God! How yeah. much did you do research on that? Was it ten? <laughs> I believe yeah. it was. It took a lot, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was so young at that time. And that then, is cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, I I did my lecture at my Faculty of Architecture as well at Jula. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it, yeah. it was about a chobis. So, <laughs> my my teacher wanted me to like um like depict the pictures of like a Thai showbiz like mm -hmm. onto the newly grads. So mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, yeah, I just like did a lot of research, research on like how would one like get paid in this industry. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that nice. Cool. I mean, I, I'm still interested in, in academics. I mean, I love it and I, I like to study. If, if I can I tell, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> I admire you a lot. Like you're putting this kind of like show up. It's like you're advocating Thai people to come out and speak the English. Yes. Like no yes. matter what, no matter like how, how much level they're in. But this is cool. Because yeah. you you know Thai people are being too too judgmental on yeah. on other person when it comes to like using English. Yes, yes. Very mm -hmm. and I and, and what I teach at um Suwu or, or Senior Korean Child Reload is um, everything is uh, this this faculty is in bilingual program so oh, the that's kids why have to, yes to study my subject in English and it's quite hard for the freshmen to um, learn everything in English out of nowhere and with me and everything is like theoretical more than practical stuff to know mm -hmm. so it's tough it's and tricky I think for that, you as well yes, as a yes. teacher Yes, yes. That's really. how I admire you a lot. Aww, Salute. thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. But it's really surprised that you are very into academic as well. I am. I was like a nerd boy before, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like how arts, like faculty of art teach their students. Like they teach like logical fallacies. Have you ever heard of that? Mm -hmm. So it's basically how you approach like, Every every kind of content in everyday life, like they have overgeneralization, like that's how you like, you know, try, try to like categorize thing, but in a big picture. Yeah. But yeah. it's like uh, it's not something good to do, and it's yeah. also like um, at hominem, it, it's a lot of thing to learn in faculty of arts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a I, lot of terms. Like, 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 yeah. like how circle, like how circular, like well rounded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. Is. Yeah. But um, 
but um, how to say, you focus on a lot of things, a lot of subjects. How about English? I do. I mean, I always multitask, like all my life grew, mm -hmm. and I'm. It's kind of like annoying because I know myself. It's like a perfectionist. I mm -hmm. I I I lost a lot on like being a, a perfectionist. Like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I need to be some. I need to done something. If I need I need to done something, I have to like give it a hundred percent. And it's tiring. Um, yeah. But in English, I I I'd say um, I would just give it a go because I'm kind of like overconfident. And I, will, I won't carry mu that much like how people would think of me speaking English because, you know, the goal is just to communicate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. So, yeah, if the message is um, being sent over, that's, mm -hmm. that's all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You achieve it. <laughs> yeah, but how did you practice learning English? I mean, from, oh, oh, from, yeah, yeah. from high school so, to now. <laughs> um, I, I was, I, I sounded so Australian, like so much like, Good day, mate. How are ya? Like before. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it, it's like kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, um, appealing. But um, I, uh, I literally watch a lot of like American dramas. Mm -hmm. And when the actors say something, I mimic after them. I, uh -huh. I, say, what, I say what they say after them. Uh -huh. Yeah, and yeah. I, that's how I get into like more confident of speaking it. But I, I made a lot of mistakes also. Like, everyone does. That's how you practice. But in terms of speaking, anyone that you talk to in English? Um, so since I like traveling a lot, I would try mm -hmm. my best to, um, you know, get into that environment where people could chat and be open up in English. And that's yes. where you learn like new words. There's a lot of words that I don't really know. And I mm -hmm. kind of like put it in here. Um, it's my like, Dashcards. Uh huh. You yeah, carry, you, you carry this thing all around. Yeah. Um. This is for um TOEFL. Uh huh. And I write the meaning in the back. Oh, great! Oh. Yeah. So this is kind of like <laughs> nerdy, right? <laughs> <laughs> But wow, I, yeah. I hardly see like grown up kids do that. I mean, I, I don't know. I like if I already give um, a lot of attempt into it, I really want to be like successful in it. But it yeah. depends, like I say. So if the goal is to communicate, you don't have to be that serious. Just give it a go. People can be like judgmental, people can criticize, but at mm -hmm. the end of the day, they will go back and live their lives. So yeah. just leave them that way. Yeah. Yeah. The quality within you, it's like, it's there. So yeah. be confident. But if the goal is like in academic and you want to like um, get ahead, you want to step mm -hmm. up high, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. you might want to like try harder, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's nice. I, I already forgot this technique to write down the the, the, the words and the meaning. Slash card, right? Slash card? Yeah, yeah. I only yeah. recommend it for exam. Like I took mm -hmm. both of them mm -hmm. here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. So um, I, I think like Thai kids, like their uh, lack of their like word banks. So mm -hmm. there's a limitation of like uh, how many words they know. So in terms of using it, they won't be like so much confident because they don't know like how to like um, use the words like um, co correctly. You yes. Know? Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. It's like it, it's hard to translate from Thai to English. I'm... Um, like directly yeah. without like a lot of words in the head but but i um, for me i i kind of like found my way of like twist the sentence and make it a little bit easier and try to express myself yeah that's beginning. how you I mean. like paraphrasing that's a yes yes kind of like paraphrasing yes yeah yes. if you look, if you use english to that level you you achieve a certain level you can paraphrase a lot of things yes yeah, yeah. both in the yeah. formal and informal context yeah. 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 But you're a thriving girl, right? You <laughs> will <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
，忘了。哦，我也没有朋友练习啊，我要努力努力练习。<笑><笑>我忘记了很多。<笑><笑> So yeah, 中文中文也中文也很难的，很难。嗯哼，中文要、oh. 要努力练习，然后你要找嗯机会用，然后如果你常常用的，你要你可以说，你一定可以说。嗯，对，嗯，对，英文一样，对英文一样。Same. Actually, like we need to like speak, we need to practice, or else we will forget. Consistency is a key. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> um, talking about Chinese, what happened? Why? Why do you start learning about new languages? Um, you know, um, this thing came up in my mind like mm -hmm. three years ago. So mm -hmm. there's a billion of people mm -hmm. uses Chinese. Yes, <clears throat> yes. And if you want to like be connected more to those billion people, you have to learn the language and their culture. Yeah. So I believe、um, not only English is important, but these day, Chinese, Hindi, Spanish, yeah, this three language maybe also Russian too. It's、mm -hmm. also a major language where people、um, use it in the world. So、mm -hmm. Chinese is like I I derive my blood a lot、uh, a lot of Chinese blood also. So I I feel like kind of related to the culture、mm -hmm. already.、Mm -hmm. So I would like to give an attempt to understand those billion people. Just to like have those、um, Chinese class like twice a week. Twice a week.、But、twice a week before, yeah. But、oh, this day,、one. no more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember that you work hard on Chinese as well. I did. I did.、Um, so the tricky part about Chinese is writing.、Mm, um, yeah. The, yeah.、Um, one word can have their、um, own ways of writing. Each word have their own way of writing. And there,、yes. there's like no,、um, there's no proper way to rememberize it. So you basically have to like remember it that way. Yes. Like you,、yeah. can, you could draw a picture in your mind. Like、yeah. th this like looks like mountain, so it's Chan. Chan means like mountain. Yeah. That way, but that doesn't work for all. Yes. So true. True. Yeah, you have to really use it. Yes. 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 How about your Chinese? Where did you Where did you learn Chinese from? I've. Uh, I I I give I give it a try since I was young. I if I don't get it wrong, like、um, when I was in high school,、mm -hmm. I I think it's the time where many school、um, have their own curriculums on Chinese subjects. That's cool. Yeah, and、um, I I start since then. But then、um, even at Jula, my my minor is Chinese. Oh, oh but, really? But. Yeah, but at Axon, at, at the fact. How serious about, is that? How serious is Chinese? It's not. It's not Chinese for conversation anymore. It's like Chinese for for everything. Like you need to understand Chinese people、um, by knowing their culture, as you said,、um, their beliefs, their、uh, myths and stories,、um, mm -hmm. a lot of things like philosophy and stuff. So it's like, how can I like? Just a simple Chinese words that we have to use、um, in everyday life is it's hard enough to write. But then if you go back to the history of China, it's it's harder and the the character is more complicated. <laughs> and it's like, why am I have to study these like words? Like, I understand. We always, we, we always compare with like um, do nang su gadong tao. It's like why we need to know about it right now? <laughs> Just like that. You know Chinese like. Um, Chinese writing sometimes、yes. like an insect, like you know, in the paper. <laughs> It's like so tricky, you know.、Um, one word can have like up to like like fifteen or twenty, like ten lines in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a combination of like、um, you know that thing. Yeah, I, but I love it. I I, I love um the um calligraphy. Um the the picture calligraphy. Um how to say like it's a.、Um, How how it called? What is called? I can't remember. It's a pictograph. Yes, it's like the pictures, and I, I I love it. Actually, I love Chinese, but I don't have much chance、um, to speak. But I like、yeah. turn out so happy that I studied Chinese because、um, yeah. I went to Malaysia last、uh -huh. year to film、yeah. a Chinese movie, and I have to like all along use Chinese, and、yeah. it's so open up. Like when 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 you like speak to people in their language. 
they show everything. You, they show you a lot, so yeah. you get connected more. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, since you mentioned about your work, we haven't talked about that. Um, how 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 did it all happen for you in terms of entertainment business? Oh, okay. Um, it started from my third year in Chula in college. <laughs> so um, my faculty is next to the like um fine arts, like fashion design, some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And like there is um a senior at the school want me to like walk for her thesis on mm -hmm. like catwalk. It's a fashion mm -hmm. design, school. and then I enter walking a catwalk at Central Wall. Then somebody saw me there and like they want me to walk on like BIFW, like Bangkok International Fashion Week and Al Fashion Week also, which back then considered like a really big event. Yeah. So yeah, after walk there for like um kind of like um year. Not a year, mm -hmm. like um, two or three times. So mm -hmm. somebody wants me to go into a drama already because um, they they yeah, they think potentially I can just like you know act because I look tall that way. <laughs> yeah, but I I still have my two like braces on. So I, I was first ran into Channel Three, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. yeah, they wait they wait until like they they, they want to wait until like my me taking my braces off. So yeah. they, they didn't sign me back then. So, after I took my brace off, my modeling called mm -hmm. me. I'm like, okay, this TV Thunder, a company that wants to see me in person, mm -hmm. and I, mm -hmm. I went to see them. And mm -hmm. after four days, I was in a five-year contract with them. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> That's how it works. Yeah. So I'm from TV Thunder. Ah, and do you like, enjoy acting? Um. I can say um, I struggle a lot at first. I never liked my acting mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I always plan everything I hate in my head. You know, mm -hmm. as, as a design students, you, you design yeah. a lot of thing in there, and yeah. when it comes to acting, it it yeah. won't come out. It won't comes out like naturally. Yeah, and that's, yeah. A, that's where I struggle a lot to lose myself. Like to act is to lose yourself and to yeah. become entirely somebody else, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So I just learned that technique like, a couple of, year, of years ago. And mm -hmm. since then, I'm happy with it. So I'm happy with losing myself sometimes just to be somebody yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but three and, years ago, I started acting a BL. <laughs> Boys of. <laughs> yeah. But one of the hardest things for, for, for me is that you need to be in the present. You cannot think ahead. You cannot yeah. like know any events that are gonna happen in front of you, but you have to like stay focused on what really happened right now. And react right, to right. it. But the yeah. line and the script have to be in there. Yes. Have to be like, yes, that's you know, hard you have part. to draw it out. Like, so that's really good part about acting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And how um, about you? So when, when did you start acting? <laughs> oh, since I was a freshman, actually. Oh my God. <laughs> so it yeah. was like in like um, 20, 2010, mm -hmm. right? 2010 like 10 yeah. years ago e kind no more than that Ooh, i start since i was 17 17 so yeah. your freshman year gotta be um 20 2009 right because i went to uni in 2010 so my you were one year is, ahead of me. my id is 51 oh 51 Oh my God! <laughs> Never oh. realized. <laughs> you're um, you're uh, one year, you're I one year it. faster than the normal kids, right? Yes, I took a GED test. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, at first I was like, just go for it. I, 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 I really don't know what acting is at that time. <laughs> But and, for my like from my perspective, it's more mm -hmm. easy for girls because I don't know, like girls can like act uses their like ornaments and like um in the face. <laughs> there, there's so many Maybe. ingredients there in the face that like the, the boys cannot be like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, like, yeah. But the girls can do a lot. So actually, um but but it doesn't right, it doesn't work that way. So yeah, Maybe, individual because, have to go through all the same process right mm. yeah yeah maybe when you mentioned that i think it's because that we look ourselves in the mirror a lot 
especially mm-hmm. when we make up so we know our face like this size better okay i should put my like this okay yeah. my that's eyes. your that's your angle and you yeah. look beautiful yeah yeah and because, you try, because you put a, like close yeah, one side yeah. like <laughs> as a good actor i think we need to know our body like how to manage like if every part of our face every muscles mm-hmm. and stuff maybe like we as a woman maybe maybe like details in these kind of things maybe i don't know maybe it's not about boys or girls maybe but i'm one thing there i'm quite sure about is like for like picture and like um <laughs> you know when 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 people take picture it's like a lot easier for girls because girls <laughs> first can do the start of the pose but men yeah. they're gonna do like Hand yeah. in a pocket, yeah. That way, yeah. or like yeah. that. Yeah. It's easier yeah. for girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so far, what is your most favorite characters? Which one is your most favorite characters? <laughs> um, you know, there's only one um, one um character from my acting that is famous. You know, <laughs> it's called Knock. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's like um, it's like what I've been through for three years, three consecutive years. I've been acting for n o c k and I'm totally like getting to when I'm. I totally feel like comfy when I got into his skin. Like, yeah, n o c k is like relatively relatively close to mine. You know, um, bad sides. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I never showed up side off much because I always look like sober. I always look calm. Always look mm-hmm. like, yeah, a grown up man. But not the same kind of c o l e g e What about you? Yeah. I saw you acting like um, a wolf, wolf something wolf. Yeah, wolf. Game matter, wolf. Game matter, right? Yes, And I have to be that, a Chinese to, girl. Yeah, you have to like go abroad and shoot, and that's what's. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was a short one, like just two EP that was in it. Uh huh. You know, when you travel abroad for for working, it's not totally yeah. traveling. <laughs> it's <True>. something else. <laughs> yeah. Different so when people like- come to me, yeah, and like, okay, you must enjoy your work abroad. I was like, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Good thing is we make new friends. Yeah, yeah, right. And we meet, we meet new people. We eat new food, learn new cultures. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. So, what's your plan after COVID 19 We, what, what will be the first country to go? Oh, um, oh, that's hard. I mean, I I've been like talking It's with many people about. Still being unknown, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm still. In- We're not allowed to fly yet until the end of like July. Even though that they allowed us to, I'm still hesitating. About safety, right? Yes, and about how okay. how my parents will like feel, and I don't know. I don't want to make That's anybody rational. worried about me. That's rational. That's something to concern. Yeah, 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 yeah. I uh, since you talk about your series and entertainment work, is there any coming project that we can stay tuned? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm not allowed to here. speak about it yet, but I'm okay. I'm launching my new product for oh. Antidote soon. So yeah, you you have you have endorsed my product as well. I, I <laughs> will take the next draft. Oh. Right? Okay, yes, here. yes, I have it in my bag every day. Here. Oh, I want to show mine. Just hold on. Just hold on. Okay, it's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. Hey. Should we, should we cap the screen? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can. Uh, One, two, three. <laughs> oh, are you here? You still here? One more time. One more time. One Doesn't more work. Time. Yeah, didn't work. One, two, three. Okay. Got oh. it. 
I'm launching the face mask. Oh, under under this brand. Under Antidote BKK, yeah. Oh, But there's cool. a cool kick about it, so yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, great, great. I'm we've been like talking for almost like 50 minutes. Don't count the disconnecting. <laughs> <Did we? laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! Sorry for taking oh. so much time for you. No, no, no. Um. Last few words. Um, I would mm -hmm. like you because your English is is very good. You are fluent in English. Um, I would like you to add, like, share some tips of how mm -hmm. um to be confident in terms of speaking English. Okay, just like I say to all people, um, people can be judgmental. People can be mean, be criticizing about your English. But at the end of the day, they will go back and live their life. So, don't. Concern much about it, guys. If the goal is to communicate, you just give it a go. I mean, um, people want people will be like so mean if they judge you trying to communicate your message to other people. Okay, so if you want to be you sound to sound more native, you have to practice more. Maybe you're mimicking after the character in a TV series or any person that you want to get. Maybe singer, maybe actress, actor. Uh, Or if you want to be more um, critical in academics, um, you may, I think, I think they should work um, harder. Maybe they should um, submit something that is helpful in English, like um, YouTube channel. One, one mm -hmm. tip that I use a lot and it helps a lot in listening is like, it's called dictation. So uh -huh. when you listen to a long sentence, uh -huh. you pause, you look uh -huh. like in YouTube, like you pause there and right, right after what you hear. And then, Ooh. yeah, and then start to play again. And uh -huh. then another, another sentence finish, you pause and you write uh -huh. what here, you jot down. Yeah, Ooh. and that helps a lot on, on listening and vocabularies. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, that's that's really nice. I mean, I hardly practice like that. Mm. <laughs> you have to achieve uh, some level of nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Any last few words to your fans? Um, so thank you that um, all, all the people that have been watching this live, also that have been supporting me and Alice as well. So we are just from a little country called Thailand. and But we have the mindset that we want to connect it to the whole world. So we are, um, we are global citizens. So yeah, and just... Thanks to her that she made up this like cool program that could advocate Thai people to come out and use their bravery to speak English because it's okay to make mistakes, guys. Totally okay. Yeah. yeah. So thank, thank you, you so Felix, much. for having me. Yeah, thank you so much for being here as well. It's really great. I mean, your words and everything, you inspire a lot of people for sure. Thank you uh, and catch up soon. Yeah, hope you come to my massage parlor next week. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Let's um, high up. massage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you and see you soon. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye bye, bye guys. Oh, what a great night. Thank you for staying tuned for English with Alice and see you again on Wednesday and Friday next week. Bye bye.